good evening friends this is time for the evening review now let's first uh, have a look on the snp uh, 500 uh, daily chart it's slowly you know moving higher today i think the news flow is that uh, uh, you know they are reaching some sort of a deal on the stimulus that deal has been in the works for ever and uh, hence the markets uh, look higher but actually uh, dow is higher because of some sort of uh, extraordinary move on boeing so actually the s p 500 is not up even double digit so eight nine points higher but as you can see news which is in the market is not able to drive prices higher here in india we were kind of range bound if you see uh, we have made basically narrow inside daytime bars so let's do something different today and in continuing with our training program today i'll discuss an intraday technique uh, with you people so let's uh, pull out a bank nifty chart okay now first uh, let me go to the whiteboard and explain the concept to you Okay, now we all know the Dow theory, which is higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. And we know lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. For those who have uh, taken our training would remember, we discussed the N pattern, the W pattern, and the M pattern. Okay. Now, basically, how do trends reverse? An intraday trend, I am talking about five minutes, but this is applicable across the board. So, you were coming down and you found support early in the morning around these levels often these levels will be levels where the market found support on the previous session so you went short here and uh, you put a trailing stop here and you update and you update finally when the market breaks this chain of lower low lower high and starts to do the opposite that is where you know you take your shots out and you get long and then you try to ride this as far as possible now this turning can happen with the w pattern also so if you keep this concept in mind which means that early in the morning you have to be able to make out which side uh, we are going to make these higher lows and higher highs or lower lows and lower highs let's see some examples to understand very clearly how this thing is executed in practice i think this is basically uh, you know an atm style uh, machine which you can make once you practice enough and uh, with the weekly option i think this strategy gels very well so let's uh, go back to our 
chart and see what we can do on the chart. Now, this is Bank Nifty. This is today's five minute chart. Okay. We opened gap down and we found straight away support at a previous day support. Okay. So this was a higher high compared to this high. And this was a higher low compared to the low we had here. Okay. So that way, immediately you made a pattern of higher low and higher high. If you bought here, I think this was a decent move of about 250, 300 points. Okay, now this was one move. Some people got it, some people didn't get it. So, what was the next move? The next move was that the market rallied here and it found resistance at this previous day level and we came down okay till now we didn't know we will make a lower high we went up and we found support here immediately we started to turn and this lower high started to come down with force so a you could have gotten on board here if not here at least here once you had this sequence of lower highs so you got shot here put a stop here then you updated your stop then you updated your stop and finally you got out somewhere here now let's take another day and see what we could have done early morning you have to place yesterday's day and then compare it with today's session to see uh, you know what sort of sequence you are making so on this uh, first day of December, what you can see here is that you know, the market again opened gap up, came down very strongly and it made a higher low at this point okay gap up came down made a higher low at this point compared to this low so immediately you knew that compared to yesterday you have made a higher high and a higher low so somewhere here you got long and you got this sort of a move. Now on a weekly option, this kind of move will mean a 50% rally on the option. Again, you came down and again, you made a higher low here and you could have easily traded this on the upside. See here, 
what is important is that you maintain some bias for the day. Nobody can trade this and this and then this. Even we, on this day, we traded this one on the upside and then we took this on the upside. But uh, I believe the concept should be clear about how the trader works. See, there is a difference between the analyst and the trader. The analyst is market will go to 28,500 or 3,500. Trader is not bothered. Okay. What the trader is interested in is see, this is 26th. Okay. Now, on the 26th, you had this sequence of lower high, lower low. Again, morning, you opened and you found resistance here. Immediately, some kind of a M pattern was formed and you started to break the morning lows. You went short somewhere here and you made money as this fall happened. Okay, once this is over, the market crossed this previous high and you knew that now the trend has changed to the upside. So it came back to retest this support zone and you got long here and you wrote this on the upside. See, it will be difficult at first, but you can very clearly see how support and resistances are getting formed on an intraday basis. Okay. So let's go back and see another day. Okay. Now here we made a higher high, but the market started to break down and it broke down and almost went below the previous day high because the previous day high had crossed uh, had closed at the high point of the day so again this is some kind of resistance the market broke through this high, consolidated here and you started to make a lower high and you got this sort of move here. So if you can once figure out the sequence of you know, lower high and lower low or higher high and higher low. This is a game you can play daily. Let's go back and see yet another day. Okay. Again, you gapped up here above previous day high. Then you made a higher low. And by the end of the day, you got one move and then you got the other move. What you can do here is that 90% of the time you will trade long above the 200. This average is by the way 20. And below the 200 you will trade short. That is clear from our webinar training also. But I am just adding a fresh element here because visually it looks, uh, you know, appealing for people to trade if they know what they are looking for. Now let me show you another day. Here, this was previous day high. You can say this was also a yet another lower high. We opened gap up 
and we were not able to cross the most recent high on the previous day we started to give up we made lower high lower high and we collapsed we went down here again we started to cross this high and you could have assumed that the trend has reversed so somewhere here you went long you put some sort of a stop maybe 50% of this bar and immediately you rocketed up see what happens here is that people who are short this move happens because of short covering so this sort of technique basically makes you enter when everybody is on the other side so let's do another day this was the previous day high next day we gap down and we made a lower high then we found support at a previous day support zone but again we made a lower high okay so the idea here is that you are watching 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 what happens on this support you need at least one sequence of the market breaking out to new high so do not go long before this high is taken out but we made a lower high and you went short and you collapsed in this manner you see on some days it will be very clear because the previous lower high will be formed in the on the previous session but on other days where you have to compare with the current days uh, you know high those would be uh, require some watching See, basically speculation is the art of observation okay like here you see in the first bar itself you crossed the high of previous day you made a higher low and you went up this was a simple day but tricky days will happen once you need to uh, for the point of reference you need the current day action now let's have a look at some nifty moves also See, today nifty was tricky but you could have made money why early morning you made a high then you came down then you made a lower high and somewhere here you could have gone short and exited here it was a narrow range day but some money was possible now look at this kind of a day you made a higher high than this high then you made a higher low than this low and immediately you rocketed up on the nifty okay now you have trailing stops once your trailing stop is hit that means the trend is probably about to reverse so some of you may have taken this also but if you got this move i think it was more than enough and this you can you know this is a game you can play daily this is real trading rather than the market is going to do this and the market is going to do that okay 
Now let's have a look on this other day. The bank nifty is more trending, whereas the nifty is generally more, you know, sideways days are visible here. Now we made a high, we made a higher low, but again, somewhere by the time you got here, the nifty wasn't doing so much. So there will be days when, you know, there is no trend. So hence you will not get any. But the risk reward is extremely favorable because intraday lows and intraday highs are quickly, you know, you know either it's working or it's not. So this is the similar day uh, that we had on Bank Nifty. Again, higher low, higher high, and if you got in here, you made money by the end of day. Now there will be some tricky days. Tricky days, you made a higher high here, but this went down and almost took out the previous session low. But you found support and you started to make a higher high higher low. So somewhere here, you could have gotten on board on the nifty bus. Okay. Again, on certain days, nifty will give you very good trend, but on other days, it won't. Okay. Now again, let's see here. Nifty found support here, it went up, it made a higher low, but since we are, we need to compare with the same day, when you went up, you failed to make a fresh high. And maybe even if you took the trade here, it works out beautifully. Okay. So broadly, this is the gist of this technique. You get better with time. And if it's not clear, there is no compulsion of doing it. Okay. Again, you can draw trend lines. Okay. And you know exactly where your, as they say, off stump is. Again, higher high, higher low, but lower high. So some people, what they can do is, You can draw this trend line and once we start to trade above this trend line, then you start looking for higher lows and higher high, even though this was a trade by itself. Okay. So very important that you let things happen on a lot of days you will have reference points from the previous session but on some days you will have to take reference point from the current day
again. Lower high compared to this. Okay. Lower low. So somewhere here you go short and by the middle of day you get a decent decline. Okay. Sometimes your stops will get taken. Sometimes market will be choppy. But at least this is some kind of system where you can find your path. Okay. Let's see another day. Higher high, lower high and you start to break down from this higher low. See, at this point what you are expecting is this. But unfortunately, the market is not showing you that pattern, it is much rather showing you an M pattern where you collapse and you get this. Then once this zone is getting crossed, you know something is turning and you got on board and again you made something. So this is a game, you know, a 10 year old can play. And this is real trading. Rest of it is, you know, this is the news and that is the news and RBI policy and X, Y, Z. I don't think is really uh, what is needed. So let's see what we can do tomorrow. Tomorrow, chances are, it appears right now, we could gap up a bit. So chances are that you gap up and you come down. So your higher high is in place and you may find support here and you may get a sequence of higher low, higher high. That is possible. So immediately you are ready to look at buying the dip. Similarly, in case we start to break this zone, then we are going to look for a lower high, lower low type scenario. Okay, on the bank nifty, Now you can say this is some kind of resistance or you can take even this zone as a resistance. This is about 29,600. So in case we open above it or you know cross uh, what is likely is that you gap up and then you come to this zone and make some sort of higher low. So your higher high, higher low situation could be in play for bank nifty. So that will set your trade up. So if your low is higher than this point, then automatically the bank nifty is more likely to move up than down. So I hope this clarifies issues and uh, if you work on this on a daily basis, you will catch moves. See, every day will not be doubling your money and tripling your money. The average day will be 50% type of move. But if uh, you know the market starts to trend, you can have some monster days as well. So that should be it for this. Uh, session. Take care, trade well and please consult your financial advisor.